Check back with you soon. Thanks. The federal investigation into Louisville's police force cites 63 different specific incidents of alleged misconduct. WDRB's Comrade Deluce is sorting out the details of new information we just got access to from the DOJ's investigation. Conroy? And that 90 page report from the DOJ was just a portion and this new information divides up the incidents based on internal case numbers. So there's not a lot more details within that information, but we do now know, for instance, how they built their case, which includes 14 incidents of excessive force by LMPD. The DOJ's investigation was launched in the wake of the 2020 police killing of Breonna Taylor. Her death sparked protests in downtown that stretched for months, and the report cited three specific incidents where LMPD violated rights under the First Amendment during the summer of 2020, including one officer who struck a protester in the back of the head with a riot stick after they had dropped to their knees and raised their hands. That officer, Corey Evans, pleaded guilty to federal charges. Evans was also cited in the DOJ report as an example of the department's deficient accountability system that resulted in repeated misconduct. He had already faced nine different investigations before resigning in 2021. The report's appendix listed 10 different examples in the section focused on LMPD unlawfully discriminating against black people in enforcement, including detectives who threw drinks at people while on duty in West Louisville. Former officers Brian Andrew Wilson and Kurt Flynn later pleaded guilty to civil rights violations. This is a really sad case. Brian's a good person. He made a lot of great arrests for this community, uh, but he made some mistakes. He took absolute and complete ownership for those mistakes. It's a hard, it's a hard case. The report also cited six examples where LMPD conducted searches based on invalid warrants. This conduct is unacceptable. It is heartbreaking. It erodes the community trust. In the wake of the report, the new mayor promises to try heard. and correct Chief mistakes Lindell. and to heal wounds in the community. Mayor Greenberg's office released a statement along with this new limited information we got tonight, saying in part, quote, we are beginning our review of the reference documents, files, and body camera footage to identify all the details of the incidents referenced in the findings report. When that review has been, re been completed, we will release details of each incident and supporting documents, end quote. With photojournalist Greg Shapker, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News. All right, Conroy, thank you for your reporting tonight.